but we haven't had much luck, and the river is not making it easy for us to accomplish our goal. But with each small rapid we pass, our chance of catching fish increases. Few outsiders know what lives in these waters, but I'm sure there are some monster fish. Piranha, peacock bass, and any number of giant catfish species. Well, so this is our camp for tonight. The, our guides told us that this is the last good spot to camp for quite a while, so we're gonna pull over. It's also a pretty good fishing spot, so camp here and fish for the night. We've had two long days without success, but as we unload the rafts for the night, two visitors arrive that might be a sign our luck is changing. These two guys, they're local fishermen. They just came from, from downriver. So we're just gonna try to get some information from them about what they're catching and how much of this stretch of river they fish. The two men are fishing for black piranha, what are they fishing for? one of the largest piranha species on the planet. And it seems they've had some luck. <laughs> wow, that's a big piranha. This is a black piranha. It's famous for being big and also being very, uh, very aggressive. They claim this section is famous for its black piranha, but it's also home to the notorious red belly piranha. Known to devour its prey to the bone. My new friends offer to take me to their favorite fishing spot. We're gonna go downstream, there's a big pool. It's probably uh, slower water, deeper water, and I'm guessing that's where he's gonna try to catch a big fish. These fishermen rely on the Rio Roosevelt as a supplemental food source and realize that in the Amazon, rivers like this are now scarce. So he's saying th this is the most important river in this province because this river, more so than any other river, it, it passes through pristine forest. And so the condition of the river, is, it's very clean and it's very good for fish. We get our lines in the water, but the only nibbles we feel are from small piranha stealing our bait. They've stripped the flesh to the bone on this fish, but still haven't taken the hook. The light fades, and something in the river changes. Wow, that really took it. Yeah, I <laughs> guess it got dark and the catfish woke up. Man, I'm afraid this rod's just gonna snap. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Net it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Head first. That's a good looking fish though. Our first big fish. And uh, we can't fit it in our net, so he's gonna try to grab it by the tail. You got it? Oh, look at that beautiful fish. Wow. Come on, see again, Good job. É uma vitória. Thank you. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Back up river, the crew comes to see what we've caught. Check it, check it out. There you go. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. That's bad. Whoa. That's amazing. Oh, that's pretty awesome. cool, huh? Here, I'll hold on to the boat. They call it a uh, pin pintado. That is crazy. Look at those whiskers. The pintado, or painted catfish, migrates great distances to spawn and feed. Finding a mature adult here is a sign of the health of this river system. I need to get it measured and back in the water as soon as I can. Hold that to the very tip of the nose. Yeah. 94.5. So this is a, a great first sign for us. Really beautiful, big, healthy fish. So we know they're in here. We thought we were gonna get something this big either. That's great though, it takes the local knowledge. I mean, yeah. Oh, he hooked us up. We probably wouldn't have been casting right there, huh? <laughs> 